What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in everybody. Just a quick little video update here. And we were in Pereira in the coffee region and we're way up in the hills. We're here in a special uh, balcony loft. It's called Santa Maria Balcon. It's really cool. I just want to get this shot here during the night of the city of Pereira. It's really beautiful. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but in the morning I'll do a, a walkthrough of this, this loft. It's super cool. And I highly recommend for anybody who's staying in Pereira. The only downside is that it's a little bit far from the city and there aren't many taxis, there's not much food, but this particular place is really awesome. It has like, it has internet. It's, it's just like, it's super luxury. And I feel very safe here. And it's like a really new, it's new design of a building. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a walkthrough right now. Put the lights on. Let's see here. Okay, I'm just turning the lights. So I'll do the walkthrough here from the beginning. So that's where, that's like, this is the driveway here and that's like the gate. And you just come up and there's the stairs. And once you walk up, once you walk up the steps, you just have this little, this little kind of porch, extended porch area with a hanging hammock. With a really cool hammock. Nice little table. If you want to sit down, kind of eat some dinner, have some drinks outside. And again, all of this with the beautiful, spectacular view of Pereira. And that's P E R E I R A. Um, and this is like, this is suspended up in the air. I don't know if you can see down there, but this is really, it's like on a cliff. It almost reminds me of like, in California like up in the hills um, so and then it just it has these huge window doors these huge windows um, and when you're done or you just kind of come in here and then you can close it whenever you're done whenever you want to go to sleep or you can sleep with it open you can sleep with it open um, it looks like it has these shades right here you can pull down for sunlight and then this is the it's just one huge it's almost like a huge luxury studio apartment and one cool thing about this place I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this this is the wall this is the remote you just press play power and it's like connected to like a smart TV thing and one See, and it's like nice sound. And you can change it, you can put on whatever you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and press off because I don't want to hear any music at this at this second. And what you can do with the TV, it's suspended by this thing. And you could kind of you can glide it and move it, and you can move the TV all the way up to here so it's like a moving tv in the in the living room um and it's just kind of it's just suspended and i think you can twist it in either direction um so that's a really cool feature I, i've never really i haven't seen anything like that ever i don't think um and then this is the kitchen area uh, pretty just pretty pretty nice, you know, they got a little bit of candles here um, The guy he's really nice. He gave some juice and some crackers and he gave me some tuna um, earlier he stopped by And you know just the fridge um, Mineral water In case you need in case you like mineral, mineral water microwave they do have Wi-Fi um this is a cool little painting here. 
Oop. And not sure what this is. Is this a, is this a a fireplace? Like a chimney? I think it might be. I really think this might be a a fire a little mini fire pit. Um and then the bed. Right there. And the bathroom. And that's me. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Just doing the tour of the luxury loft up in the hills of Pereira. And again, for anybody who wants to stay here, this place is called Balcon Santa Maria. Really highly recommend. I might even put a link since I'm doing a review of this actual loft. I might just do, I might put a link in the video in case anybody of the, air, the actual Airbnb listing. That way, in case anybody is interested, um, you, know, you, you guys will know where to find it if you're interested in staying. But since I've been here in Colombia recently, um, and some of the places that I've been going to, I've been noticing that like some of the Airbnb spots, like the really, really cool, unique spots that are usually kind of booked up far in advance, they're, they're available. Um, they're available and people aren't really using them. So I, I think right now it's kind of, it's, it's slow, slow time with as far as rentals and the kind of housing, Airbnb, travel. Um, but I expect that to pick up at, at some point. Um, once everything, hopefully with, you know, the world kind of gets a little bit, gets kind of, you know, back into action again with the traveling. Um, there's some really, really cool Airbnbs down here in Colombia. Awesome, awesome ones. So I'm just going to get a couple more shots without me talking and just of the nature. Listen really close. There are some unique animals, birds, insects in the distance. Cool. So that concludes everything for today's nighttime video tour a video review of Santa Maria Balcon and Balcon Santa Maria hope you guys enjoyed it this place is really really cool highly recommend again only downside is that it's a little bit far out from the city it can be hard to find transportation or food and I would compare it to up in the Hollywood Hills somewhere, except more remote because there's not really transportation. So that's it for tonight's video, video review of the luxury loft in Pereira, Colombia. And I also did a live stream today on my cryptocurrency channel um, and if anybody is interested in 
making learning how to make passive income online with cryptocurrency click the link below do your own research and there are opportunities out there in the markets in the cryptocurrency market so if you want to learn more click link below would be glad to help out answer any questions for anybody and um, just gonna enjoy the rest of the night here and tomorrow we will be going I'll do this in a separate video for tomorrow but we'll be going to a place called um, Salento y Finlandia and they're on the outskirts of Pereira little pueblos this place is so peaceful at night really so peaceful all right so that's it for tonight one last little shot here of the the loft the TV really really unique feature that I have not seen pretty much anywhere that I've been the sliding hanging TV smart TV um, I do like the hammock the hammock reminds me of I've stayed in some places in Cabo like Cabo de la Vela Guajira La Guajira it's very common all the people there all the locals El Waiju the indigenous gente or the, the indigenous people that are native to that area they all sleep in hammocks in La Guajira when I when I went went up there to Cabo de la Vela um, that's all that they had I was there for like a week and I had to get used to just sleeping on hammocks and you would think it's kind of weird but after a couple nights it kind of feels good um, yeah, you, you get used to it. So, very popular in La Guajira, the hammocks. And definitely recommend checking out Cabo de la Vela. It's the northernmost tip. It's the northernmost tip of South America. Cabo de la Vela. And you can go one step farther to Punta Gallinas. And you have to go from Cabo de la Vela to Punta Gallinas. It's about four hours through this desert. And you go in, in like a jeep, like a desert jeep. Um, and it's a really weird route only like locals local people kind of know about it that is a, that's an awesome trip and once you get to the end it's like this desert beach this remote desert beach that's windy it's like has sand dunes and it's it's like sloping down sloping on this hill and then you arrive to the beach the water's right there and there's nobody there there's no people it's like this remote untouched land and just the indigenous people that live live way out there and there's only one there's only one hotel or one hospedaje it's called hospedaje alexandra or Ale alexandria it's one of those um punta gallinas it's it's the only one there really hard to get and once you arrive you have to arrive to the hostel and boat um it's just like this it's not really a wasteland, but it's just this this huge open area of just remote kind of pristine land that seems to be untouched. Just the indigenous live out there. Very hard to arrive to Cabo de la Vela, but I recommend if, if you have the chance to definitely go out there. Um, and the way to arrive to Cabo de la Vela, the easiest would be to fly into either Barranquilla Santa Marta or Rio Hacha. Rio Hacha would be the, the, the easiest one to start from. I flew into there. Then you can take a shared taxi from Rio Hacha to, I think it's called Urania, um, Urenia. I believe that's what it's called. And that's like called, that's this, the city of contraband. Um, and then from there, you can take the shared Jeep and then it's uh you arrive at Cabo de la Vila. it's through the desert really really cool really awesome place so i'm back here I'm back and i'm gonna get some rest i've been up very um 
very early today, had a super early flight from Medellin to Pereira this morning, been up since like 4 a.m. Like I said, I had a live stream on the other cryptocurrency channel. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about cryptocurrency, feel free to click the link below. Um, and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for lots more travel Colombia content coming your way. And that's it. Have a great night, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one and bye-bye.